Hello everybody, welcome back. This is the next phase of this uh, new tube Nelson Pass preamp and this element or these videos next maybe I might be able to do it all in one. Uh, I Unfortunately I've already built this up and I've built this up as per because it was going to be used uh, I was going to buy um, the appropriate speaker LX Mini but I decided not to do that uh, what I did I I built uh, a clone of the PAP trio which is two 15 inch base units and in my case I was using the Scandinavian Audio Lab full range drive unit uh, and I didn't want uh, additional expenses and yet another pair of speakers I've got too many uh, so I went down this route as an active I had four amps and Mr. Pass kindly uploaded this and you can buy the printed circuit board and the kit from diyaudio.com and I didn't particularly want this big hump uh, on the base I wanted a more flat response to roll on and roll off at 450 Hertz uh, and I've tried many crossover points and in my system with my amplifiers in my room 450 is optimum and I've measured it uh, it's quite good the speaker is about 1.2 meters away from the wall um, it could be doing with a bit more but anyway um, I wanted to get rid of this and <clears throat> when you buy the kit or you don't have to buy the kit you can go on to micro cap bit of online software that Mr. Pass kindly set up and you can adjust the parameters via capacitors, resistors uh, and you just play around, there's a circuit, so you play around with different rolls on, rolls off and uh, I ended up uh, with a f nice 450 roll on, roll off uh, Mr. Pass actually kindly, kindly I, I posted it on DIY Audio and Mr. Pass kindly um, made comment on it, said he liked it. But anyway, so to get this 450 on and off, Hertz, Cross, I'm using the Eminence 15A stated plus the Sal, the Scandin Scandinavian Audio Labs full range, sadly no longer available. A uh, bit of a pain, but anyway, very good, very good, very nice drive unit. So to achieve this 450, and I will hopefully I'll be able to put up a little uh, PDF with this video that actually shows you the the sweep as it would be. Uh, but there's a few few resistors. All you have to do is change a few resistors to get this thing to roll on and roll off at 450. So here's the board. Uh, and originally in this position so that one there is 475 ohms you change that to 27k this one here originally is 14 15k and you change it to 2k this one here was originally 100k change it to 75k next resistor down was 8.2 and you change that to a 30k so you do that on both sides so there's the left there's the right so you do it on both sides i have yet to do it on this board uh, i'm going to whip these resistors out and change them for the appropriate to give me a, a cross of 450 or 550 sorry and when i've done that uh, we'll come back. I'm going to put this in the preamp case with a separate supply, wire it up, uh, put it in a system, and away we go. Hopefully, so that hopefully that may be of interest to somebody. It might not. It's just entertainment. It keeps me occupied. Uh, it's <clears throat> just something a little bit different that people do or do not do. Uh, so I'll be back shortly. I've replaced 
uh, those original resistors with those outlined here so this one here if we can see that 26.8 27k 26 27k this one here uh, is 2k it's two 1000 resistors I didn't have 2k resistors so there's 2k 2k there uh, 75k down here again I've had to make these up out of 73 points it's, it's close enough for me I've had to make these up out of seriesing two resistors together to get a total amount there we go and we got a, a 30k there 30k there so <clears throat> uh, this is now configured for a 550 cross um, and I'm going to now put it in that chassis along with the new tube and wire it up uh, we'll be back shortly uh, bye for now the outputs which were here, which we've already listened to, uh, are now going to be the inputs to this board. So I'm just going to put a couple of washers and bolts. I'll use uh, one star washer somewhere because this is also strapped to the ground, the chassis ground, the zero. So I'll just go around, bolt this up, and I'll use plain washers here, little M3 nuts, missed it. See that? See that one? An escapee? There's an escapee there, look. Doesn't want anything to do with it. There we go. Boring, boring, boring. Watching a bloke put nuts on the end of his thread. Uh, and what I'll do, I'll reinstall uh, this power supply here and we'll wire this up uh, to the mains and then this will have this crossover, sorry. Uh, this crossover will have, have its own power supply. I have no qualms about um, this power supply. This one here would easily run both the preamp and the crossover. Uh, but the fact that I've got this, I want to use it just like the DACT, the DACT pot I have here. It was set on the shelf. Uh, I've used it in other applications. It's very good. Uh, I thought I'd use it again. So just trying to use up what's left on the shelves. Or what is on the shelf rather than they just sit there year on year on doing nothing so I'll carry on doing this be back soon so I've just made up little interconnect it's just a bit of single screen wire I'm just going to drop this <coughs> and solder it in situ. If I knock the camera, I'm sorry, I'm working around it here. Uh, just going to tin the end of this phono earth. I'm going to tin the, the signal end like that. So Like that. I mean, you can poke it through the holes, and I've got, I call it hard soldering, whereby there's a physical connection. I don't tend to bother with that. Uh, so, as you can see, I've already done this one. So, this is the left channel low output, this one's the high output. So these 
connectors, this one here, these farthest from us, that's the ground. So what I tend to use is a, I'm going to have to just stretch around here, a pair of tweezers because it's a little bit fiddly, a line, your ground with your Bear with me, get in you little swine. There we go. Right, so they're in. As you can see, I've tinned the end. Of the wires. So there's the ground, I've got hold of the ground, forcing it back. Nice nip. You don't have to grunge it up. Uh, pull this out of the way, just dress it slightly if I can, if I can I won't. Ah, there you go. So he's in there, give that, that's not right, I don't like that. I'll give this a little, ah there you go, that's better, if you see that just slip in. So there's the right base. I've just got to do the left base, uh, wire up the power supply and the jobs are good. So I'll be back soon. Here we have it, uh, it's in circuit, in service, all wired up, LED is powered up um, and what I'm doing, as I've always said this is a non-technical, I could put it on the bench scope and give it a signal to prove that it's crossing it 450 i've done it before i know it i know it is um so what i've done i've just coupled it straight in to these makeshift open baffle speakers and there's a passive crossover on it anyway um, but just to prove the fact um, i'm coming off the low end of each of the outputs left and right we've got an in the inputs here low end left and right and we're only getting low frequencies left and right so what i'm going to do now is switch off the f6 i'm going to swap over the outputs to the high frequency or the higher frequency full range power up the f6 Give it a second, it takes about 10-15 seconds to come up, relays clicked in and we should only hear high frequencies. Perfect, that's perfect, I won't um, prolong the music because they give you a clout but um, yeah so in effect this is all working. I'm going to stick it in its sleeve. I've got a front to go on here at some point. Uh, I've done this for a relation of mine that expressed an interest. Uh, I will do a follow-up to this video uh, at some point. But for now, in effect, that is this project or series of videos finished. We've done our B1 Korg. We've unfortunately, I already populated this, as I said previously, I've already done this. Uh, but to just give you some idea, a bit of entertainment, this has got two power supplies, one for this, one for this. You've seen how I built up this uh, and it's implemented and it works very well indeed. So, And there it is in its sleeve. The fascia needs doing, as I said, um, but it's working, functioning, bit of DIY, bit of entertainment. I hope you enjoyed it. For now, this is Laverda. I'm wishing you all the best. See you again soon. Bye.